Hey crafters, welcome back to Craft Darby Lex and today I'm gonna do some Minecraft hacks and and like Minecraft life hacks and tricks. Minecraft no 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 trying to Hey crafters, welcome back to Craft Darby Lex and today I'm gonna be teaching you how no no try again. Hey crafters, welcome to Craft Darby Lex and today I'm gonna be showing you some Minecraft tips and tricks for playing in creative. I don't know if this could apply for survival. Anyway, let us start with the first thing, which is taking a stack of items or putting them, or putting a stack of items in a Pacific hot, Pacific hot bar slot. So let's say I want a stack of stone. I don't want to do this. No, 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 no. Shift and click will give you a stack to put in any of your hot slots and then the hot bar slots and you can just do that. Or if you're smart enough, smart enough, you could, or like you need it in a specific hotbar like, slot. I, like, I want stone in this hot bar slot number one. So I'll, do, I'll hold. I'll make my mouse hover over the stone, and then I'll do shift, and then the hot bar I want is hot bar slot I want to go to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's say I want to go to slot hot bar slot number five. Shift, hover. Hover the mouse over the num over the item, and then do shift whatever hot bar slot number slot you want. And there you go, I have it. Now let's say I want to like you see YouTubers doing this like that. So the way you do that is you take your item. I want to take that. Then you want to hold your middle click button. So you want to hold it. You want to go. You want to. You want to hover over your item. So in this case, mine's the stone. And then you want to. Then you want to hold the middle click button, and you'll see that it duplicates. Then you can just. You can hold the middle click button, and you can duplicate it to as many slots as you want. Now, how do you? You, let's say you want to get rid of everything. Everything you have in your inventory. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. You want to click, the, you want to click, you want to click the shift button and then left click the destroy item button. <coughs> anyway. Next. What's next? Uh, uh, let's say you have a stack of items. And you want to throw it into a player. Do not do this. Do not individually press Q for every single item. Just do this. Control Q if it's in your um, hotbar. But if it's, um, let's say it's in, let's say it's in your um, inventory and you have like tons and tons and tons of stacks, then just do, just click, click and hold Control plus Q, and then it'll just automatically do it for every single one. There. And the trick for getting rid of it. Where did half my stone go? What? Sure. Anyway, next on the list. Let's say you want pre filled dispensers or droppers or any kind of container. So let's say I want this dispenser filled with TNT. I can fill it up with TNT. And then you want to do control. You want to hold control or command if you're on Mac. And then you want to left click. Oh, no, 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 no. Try this again. Okay. Then you want to, do, you want to hold control. And then you want to right. Nope, it's okay. You want to hold control. And then you want to middle click the dispenser. And then you'll see. You can get so then look at this. This is this this was sensor is not full. So I can quickly go here. Um 
We're using a faster encoding preset. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, OBS tell me that I can't encoding a video. Let's lower my vo microphone volume here. I right, well, hope you guys are okay with this. OBS is not being very good right now. Anyway, next about the end. This is called MBT data. Basically, you can make a dispenser be pre-filled. Control and middle click, and then. This one is supposed to MBT and this one is not with MBT. Let's just store this dispenser and click those. So this is the one this is the one with not with no MBT. Nothing. This is the one with MBT. Oh yeah, you see. The MBT beta data basically stores info about what's inside the item or container. So if I do And then let's say I want, I don't know, a chest. Uh, a chest, and you want it to fill it with. Okay, let's take my uh, double chest here. Oh, come on. It's a trapped chest. Chest. There you go. Then you wanna then I'm gonna fill this bad boy with stuff. Don't wanna do control click. Now you see Yeah, I have that kind of Oh my gosh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and you can get infinite chests full of netherite. You can get infinite chests full of netherite. I feel so rich. I feel so rich. I feel so rich. Oh. I feel so rich. Oh, let me just take all this stuff. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Oh, and I get more riches. So, that's MBT data. What other things might you want useful? Like, I don't know. Saved toolbars. So basically, I always get this wrong. Is this, let me see. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Look, uh, I look. Oh my! Basically, you can have saved toolbars in Minecraft. So basically, what is a save toolbar? Basically, it's um basically a way to automatically bring some items into your inventory. So let's say I'm building a redstone project that re requires some some dispensers or something like that. Oh come on, that requires some dispensers or something like that. And I I can make a save toolbar of all the droppers and dispensers and stuff that I need for this redstone project. Hey, I found a useless machine, guys. It's a very easy useless machine. No. A very, very easy useless machine. Really? <clears throat> oh, come on. Really? Real, re, re, really, there we go. And that is a useful machine. Anyway, anyway, uh, basically, how do you load a saved toolbar? Or how do you save a toolbar? So let me go to a let me go to a clear pop bar. So let's say I want some stuff. Um, I want all the terracotta. Who likes terracotta? Uh, what else? Terracotta? Hmm. No, no, no. There's a block that's really nice. 
Concrete, concrete, concrete. It's called concrete. It's called concrete, concrete, concrete. So, let's say I want a tool bar for all this. So I might take, hmm, I want this concrete and that concrete. Uh, not purple. Maybe some blue, some yellow, some green, some gray, some light gray, some cyan, hmm, and maybe some red. Now I want this to be a save toolbar. So let's go to my inventory. I have one, two, three save toolbars. You're gonna have up to five saved toolbars. So let's say I want to save this toolbar. I can do C, and then. For you guys, you probably don't have any safe toolbar, so you can do C1. So let me say, I want to do C4. So then, if you go to inventory, see, there it is. So, to load a safe toolbar, let me just quickly clear. To load a safe toolbar, you have to do, rather than doing C and another toolbar, or uh, another number, you want to do C, no, no, let's see, X, and then the number. So let's say I want my uh, terracotta thing back. There you go. X and four for me because I already have other case saved two bars. So that's that. Yeah, and then I could go for like X one and I go for like redstone. Very interesting. I wonder if this could be useful in... Oh, no, 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 no. You guys might see some little lags, lag here and there. That's not me. That's in, that's OBS's, like, encoder thing. Being weird on me again. I, I'm perfectly fine. I have, like, good enough of... Good. So, that's today's episode. I thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe. I hope these tips are helpful to you, and I'm out.